Hey everyone, it's Tyler, and like so many of you, I just got back from Houston from the first World Championships, and hope you had an amazing time for those able to attend. And I wanted to show you what some of the new products and initiatives are coming out soon uh, into the first robotics world. If you didn't get a chance to see uh, behind many of the fields, there were a bunch of uh, FRC suppliers in the uh, vendor support center. And then also we stopped by a couple uh, different uh, areas in the innovation fair to check out what new things were coming and how different companies are supporting FIRST Robotics. Uh, so we have all these listed alphabetically. Go click which ones you're most interested in as well. And if you don't mind, drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel, we really appreciate all the support. So happy we got to meet so many of you, but let's go check out what new cool things are coming to FIRST Robotics. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Hi, my name is Ethan. I'm here with Annie Mark, a mechanical engineer at the company. Uh, we're here in the robot service center at the Annie Mark booth. Uh, we've got a couple of new products we're showing off. Uh, First up on the list, and what a lot of people have been interested this weekend, are these new Mark 4N Swerve modules from Swerve Drive Specialties. Uh, they're very similar to the Mark 4i modules. Uh, there's a conversion kit between them, but the N stands for narrow. There's sort of a different profile of module here intended for uh, game pieces to come up in between modules, uh, allow for different sorts of intakes and stuff. All of this is sitting on top of also another new Mark product we're calling the Robot Parts Cart. Uh, this will be sold uh, here in a couple weeks. Uh, it comes with a couple tackle boxes to store your parts in, uh, wood top surface for you to use as a workbench, uh, and as well as compatible with some battery chargers so you can store your batteries, get them charging right on the cart. Uh, you can latch several of them in a line together, carry them very quickly. Um, I think it's going to make a really important part of a lot of teams' pits this year. Um, also, we have in the booth here uh, a new brushed motor controller. We're calling the Cores 40 motor controller after Mark Cores, one of the founders of Andy Mark. Uh, we're really excited to show that off. It's a hopefully a low-cost option for teams to use brushed motors uh, here in FRC. I'm Omar from CTR Electronics. Got a lot done this year, but the biggest thing probably is the addition of the Swerve Stack. So we've basically made Swerve, instead of an effort that takes usually a summer to go through top to bottom, I've had teams go from zero to Swerve in under 40 minutes, and in some cases as, low, as short as 15 minutes. It's pretty amazing. It was a lot of work. We basically had to make major changes into the Phoenix 6 API to accommodate this and other similar use cases. But it really showcases all of the effort that we've been putting into a modern control strategy for these crazy robots that are have features that I would not have even ever thought of even five years ago. Uh, one of the things we've demonstrated is the candle. This is a, a basically an LED controller, addressable LED controller. And in this demo, we're actually using the Hero to control it, but obviously you can do it via the Robo Rio. And we have all sorts of cool animations. And in this example, we're actually using our Pigeon IMU, which is very popular in first, particularly for Swerve. Over here, we're demonstrating our Canivore. So that's a fairly popular product. That's our USB to can adapter. So on the Robo Rio, there's a single can port. And the can port is spec as CAN 2.0, which means you get a certain amount of bandwidth, a certain amount of um, signal update rates. So you can find information at ctr-electronics.com. Check out our products, check out our documentation, get us feedback. We love that stuff. My name is Kevin Walseth. I am here with DigiKey Electronics at the First Worlds. So a little bit about DigiKey is we are an electronics distributor and we are a big proponent for FIRST Robotics. You know, we every FIRST team has a $65 voucher that they get in their kit of parts and it's they can use it for anything on the DigiKey website. Everything from, you know, motors to connectors to, you know, cables or tools or whatever they might need to help their first season. We just launched the 
XRP Robotics platform. Uh, this is what it looks like. And this is a great starting robotics platform for anybody that is interested in robots or technology. Uh, it utilizes the Raspberry Pi Pico and uses a SparkFun board. Uh, it it's, uses the same WPI lib programming software as the main first robots, which is pretty cool. And you can actually take that brain and use it into other projects. This is uh, one of our team members created this. Uh, it's using the same brain, but he's got four wheels instead of two. And then another one of our team members, uh, Odd J, on social media, he created this crawler. And this crawler bot is pretty cool because I think I hit the wrong button. It will actually just uh, crawl using a bunch of different motors and a lot of mechanics built into this, this device. And then just for fun, uh, we took the XRP and created this exact product in a 500% size. And you know, we're still, it's still a work in process, but uh, we're gonna add motors and add wheels and eventually drive it around. So we're pretty excited about that. Digkey.com is our website, but we do have a first specific page, which is digkey.com slash first. And you know, you can go there and learn about the different products that will work with robots and just how you can get signed up with some of our incentives for the first teams. My name is Mark Terryberry. I'm an applications engineer for Haas Automation, who is the largest maker of CNC machines in the Western world. Haas, like every other technology company out there, struggles to find employees. And so we know that the next generation of engineers, the next generation of machinists, is being built right now. And that is happening at these, at these first competitions with business and technology, engineering, math, um, all of those skills are being grown uh, right here in this building. Gene Haas started Haas Automation making CNC machines. He also has his F1 team, his NASCAR team, and he started the Gene Haas Foundation, uh, which is a nonprofit organization which is you know, furthering these skill de developments for the next generation. So the Gene Haas Foundation sponsors the, um, you know, the first robotics competition here in Houston, the National and they're also sponsoring something like 2,000 first teams across the world each year. Every time we come and see a, uh, an event, we're blown away by the things, the machines, and the, the students are being built up uh, year after year. Just incredible, the, the skill sets. It's one of those weird, cool things where you're excited to see the next generation outdo you. And, uh, and that's what's the cool thing is about FIRST. We're, we're passing the baton on to the next generation. I'm Erica Holm. I work with Molex. Um, I'm our Community Affairs Program Manager, and um, we're excited to be at the Innovation Fair this week. Molex is a uh, connector and electronic solutions company, so we are in various industries from medical pharma solutions, consumer products, automotive industry, smart lighting, smart manufacturing and architecture, Rockwell, industrial, and data common specialty solutions. One of our biggest impact pillars is clearly STEAM and education. We want to give back to the local communities where we operate, but we also want to invest in the future talent and future entrepreneurs and innovators and engineers. Right here for our Medical Pharma Solutions Division, we have an EpiPen. So our EpiPen um, not only injects the medicine, but it also um, helps calculate the correct dosage for a patient. And this really removes barriers to allow patients to not have to go into the doctor's office regularly to get their, um, their the correct dosage of their medicine. So we're giving out some fun um, FRC kits. So inside our FRC kits are an SL um, 2.0 kit, as well as CAN bus, and then um, a whole big kit includes a hand crimp tool. I'm Frank with Rev Robotics. And we're here showing all our new products to teams and supporting teams, making sure that if anything breaks, they have the parts to fix their robots and get on the field. Right here, we have the Neo Vortex motor, and we're demonstrating the functionality of dockability with the Flex, with the new Flex motor controller, as well as the Neo Vortex solo adapter and the new dock for the Spark Flex which we'll be launching uh, later this year. This dock lets you use a flex with a more traditional Neo or Neo 550 motor. Um, yeah, different features including our new data port that is a locking connector in, uh, into the flex. The, the flex uses removable shafts that have a half inch hex as well as a taper to ensure concentricity. Then over here, we're also demoing 
the uh, the Max Planetary Gearbox, including our new 9 to 1. Our 9 to 1, we got a little clever with this. It's uh, instead of being a extremely small uh, sun gear, which tends to be weak and fail prematurely, it's actually two 3 to 1s stacked back to back on the inside of the uh, on the inside of the of the cartridge. And then over here, we're demoing the linear actuator that we came out with this year. And it uses a lead screw on the inside, multi-start lead screw on the inside. And it has a half inch hex input on the base. So you can drive it with anything that can give you a half inch hex input. Hi there, I'm Mike Hayden with Stratus. I work on the EDU team. We are here at the first Robotics World Championships in Houston, Texas, 2024. I'm with Stratasys and we are actually live in real time printing in the booth repair parts for the teams that break or damage something out on the floor in the competition. They have an entire robot alley here and today we're printing on a Stratasys F370. It's an FDM 3D printer. Right now we've got carbon fiber material loaded for team number 2638 and we're printing a mounting hardware bracket for their camera assembly. As you can see, it's growing. It's got about one hour and 28 minutes left to go back on their machine so that they can play in the competition this afternoon and hopefully move along to the finals tomorrow on Saturday. First Robotics and Stratus have been partners and we've been sponsoring them for years and we're proud to sponsor lots of teams around the country and lots of schools. We have a lot of fun doing it and we are loving working with the engineers of our future. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm James from uh, Studica Robotics. I'm the lead engineer, and here I have the Navex, which is one of our FRC products. The Navex MXP, we've done a rework on it to fix a lot of electrical problems, and we've done a few quality of life. So we added the USB-C, we changed this to a through hole, and it, now it's a lot more stable of a board. Then for other FRC products, we've created a Swerve training platform. This goes directly into the classroom and allows teams to learn how to program Swerve and do path planning before creating a larger robot. And because of our controller mimics a RoboReel, you can program the, with the exact same code that you do on a robot using WPI Lib with Java or C++, and soon Python once we get it working. We're an educational robotics company, so our main goal is making sure that the education part of robotics is done properly. Most of the code we hear from people is like, now it's just plug and play, but we want to teach you like, how does Swerve actually function? What's the math behind it? And that's the whole goal of something like this. Hey guys, Ryan Donio here with the Thrifty Bot, and I've got some new products that we're coming out with to show you here. Starting with our Thrifty Swerve 2.0. It's been run by two teams in season this year, and we've got some great feedback from the teams that have been running it. It's got a steel aluminum hybrid gear on the azimuth. And the way that we're going to change gear ratios on this is with shifted tooth profile pinions, similar to the Max Swerve. It's about a quarter pound lighter than the MK4Is, and it's got a smaller bevel set, so it could run a three inch wheel as well. It's gonna come with an absolute magnetic encoder as well, and we're targeting a summer release for that. We've also got a new motor controller for brushless motors coming soon. It's gonna run Neos and Neo 550s right out of the box. And we have a new motor in development that we're looking to release later this year as well. We've got some new mechanical products like big sprockets and big HTD pulleys that are all aluminum that are coming soon as well. And we have a, a new can coder that we've been working up that will also interface with our Swerve or MK4 Swerves, same mounting pattern. Uh, uses Molex SL connectors or can be powered by a data ribbon cable as well. So those are some of the new things we're working on this year. We've got some other cool stuff coming, but make sure you come to the thriftybot.com and check out all our cool new stuff. A lot of great products and initiatives coming to the FRC, so let us know which ones you're most excited for and any others that you got to see. There were a lot of other great uh, vendors out there in the Innovation Fair and also in the FRC Supplier Center. Uh, so let us know in the comments below what you're most excited for, and we'll see you next time. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following.
Discover how Kettering University students engineered their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.